Hey awesome ones, I'm Heather. And I'm Bill. And today we wanted to give you a little bit of a fireside yeah. chat on how we found, or we should say how this little guy <laughs> found us. It's it's kind of a really strange encounter and how we got this dog. Uh, it's actually kind of a love story. Oh yeah, and you know what? It all starts in just a few seconds. So we wanted to do this video because yeah. one of our sons, he's going to get a dog. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be, what do they call us, dog, grand dogs or parents or something like that. <laughs> we used to talk about grandkids, now we're talking about grand pups. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're really excited for him because he really is, he's a dog person, oh, he loves sure. dogs. He's always been great with Little Hurricane, Little Hurricane just loves him. And uh, now this is, he's going to a breeder mm -hmm. and, and the thing about it is, is that this dog, the mom dog, had 12 pups. Well, that's a lot of pups. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and what they've done is they've done a bit of a lottery thing, and he gets to pick as number six. And he said, I'm not too sure what to do because there's only six males. Well, and, and you know what? Heather and I were talking about this. The dog will pick you. That's what I said to him. I said, you know what? The dog that kind of what comes up to you and and you have a connection mm -hmm. with, the, I always find that the whether you're going to a rescue place mm -hmm. or where you're going, I really feel that the dog picks you, don't you? Oh, no question. And that's why we wanted to do this video on our little story about our our little love story about our dog, and it's a very strange story. And if you believe in fate. This mm -hmm. is one of those ones where you go, there are no coincidences, right? I, in this case, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember we were having dinner, right? I did. This is about <clears throat> how many years ago now? Like nine years ago, I guess? Yeah, it would have to be nine years. Yeah, wow. he's That's got a fine. birthday coming up, yeah. so we really wanted to do this too. Um, and so we were at dinner, and then all of a sudden I looked at my watch and I went, "Oh my gosh, we got to get to the mall. We had something that we had to get at the mall." Right. And and so we're like, "Oh, it's quarter to nine. We got to go." And we paid the bill. I ran out the door. He ran out the door. We just got to the mall, but the fastest way to get in the mall was to go through the pet shop. Yeah, the the pet shop. There was a back door to the pet shop. Yeah. Like you could go from outside as opposed to going through the mall mm -hmm. so it was the closest to where we parked so we decided to cut through the pet store also the <laughs> other thing about the pet store was there was never a lot of people there as far as the parking lot so right. you're sure at quarter to nine to get a spot so we parked there we're running through the pet store we got to get something mm -hmm. and my eyes met a little Yorkie <laughs> and uh, I had to stop because this pet store usually had like a hundred dogs, right? Yeah, it was at the time when there were plenty of dogs and cats available in the everyday pet stores. And and we weren't interested. We'd, no. we'd been to this store like for years, never, you know, we weren't really pet store people. We didn't believe in them because right. a lot of times they got their dogs from puppy mills. Yeah. And we had, we wanted nothing to do with those kind of dogs. We wanted, if we did get a dog, it would be a rescue mm -hmm. or it would be maybe somebody, you know, with a a breeder that we would mm -hmm. know, but there's no way we're doing this pet shop, yeah. but then fate, fate steps in, <laughs> right? Fate always steps in when you least expect it. Yeah. Now it's like 10 to nine. And I just said to Bill, go, go. And Bill's like, what the, what's she doing? <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> like Bill usually says about me. And, um, and so I, I locked eyes with this little Yorkie and just imagine locking eyes with that. Eh? Uh -huh. He needs a bit of a haircut right now, but <laughs> anyway. So, so he was in a cage, a glass cage, yeah. with um, chihuahuas and black poodles. He was the only Yorkie left. All the a lot of the uh, cages were empty. Mm -hmm. I was pretty sure, and I think I said to you later mm -hmm. that I saw this on the news uh, that they were uh, deemed one of the ones with a puppy mill, and they lost their license too. Yeah, that so. particular story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I saw this little guy. He was being bitten uh -huh. by the nipped uh, at. <laughs> yeah, nipped at by the um, yeah, by the other dogs. And he was hiding. If you can see this scruffy little uh, bed, <laughs> he was hiding in this bed mm. and and primed to protect himself oh. in the little bed. And then, <laughs> just like what he's doing right now, he crawled out of the, the bed 
into the danger zone, came up to the window where like I the was. Glass of yeah, the cage, yeah. And he starts going like this, trying <laughs> to give me a kiss. And then the dogs were just all over him. And I thought, oh, that poor little guy. I hope he gets a home soon. And I was in the mall because <laughs> yeah. I, I love, love, love dogs. But mm -hmm. I don't like being in pet stores. They always made me sad. And that was because I don't like seeing animals in cages. No. So I was kind of waiting outside. And I think you texted me or something. I said, get here fast. <laughs> <or something. laughs> so um, I just wanted him to see the dog. I, I hadn't thought about buying one. And again, fate steps in again. And all of a sudden, the, the behind the uh, glass cage opens up and there's a person going to grab a dog. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and Bill's still not here. I'm so happy that little Yorkie's gonna get a home. They picked one of the poodles. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, this little guy is still looking at me. And he's, he's like, help me. <laughs> he kept talking, he's going, help me. And then I, I went, the Yorkie, like the, pick up the Yorkie. And they're like, that, that scruffy looking thing? And I'm like, yeah, the scruffy one. And, and that was it. And then Bill gets into the pet shop. You didn't know what was going on. I had an inkling. <laughs> And, and Bill's allergic to dogs too. That you know, yeah, like the, 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 the dander, the dander can can yeah, bother me. He, he gets asthma, so we're like, oh no. But but Yorkies have hair, so they're one of those hypoallergenic mm -hmm. ones. And all of a sudden, I'm standing there with a dog in my hands, and Bill's like, what is going <laughs> on? And I went, here, <laughs> hold this. <laughs> And then what have they put you in an interrogation yeah, they, room? Yeah, they send you around back. They have all these rooms, like change rooms, right? As in a clothing store. But I called these interrogation rooms. <laughs> you know, so they put the, the little dog in my lap and it's just, they close the door and it's just me and me and him. And then I went off to talk to the owner. Now it's past nine o'clock. And they said, um, I said, how much is this dog? And they said, look, at, at this point, we just want him to go to a good home. And so they gave me a really good price for him. Right. But they said, you cannot take the dog tonight. Um, mm. You have to wait till tomorrow. We want to give him a bath and make sure all this paperwork is, you know, because they, they do the yeah, whole babies thing and everything. And um, then I went to see you. And, and what did you say to me? I said, what have you done to me? <laughs> <laughs> How many kisses did you get from the dog? Oh, it had to be over 400, literally. <laughs> so the hardest part, the part that broke my heart is that um, we did a deposit on the dog, but then we had to leave the poor dog and he went back into the cage and yeah. he probably went, wasn't I cute enough? <laughs> I know, I know. I, I mean, I know I'm talking for a dog, but when you have a dog, you know, you, oh, you yeah. start to think about how they are anyway. Fast forward to the next day. Oh, wait, on the way home. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. yeah. Uh, fast forward to the next day. We got there like right when it opened, and there was Hurricane in this kind of a middle. Um, a pen. Yeah. yeah, and he was bathed. He looked so handsome, and 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 then they said, "Oh, there's your dog." And I picked up my dog, and and I think I probably let Hurricane and Bill see him as well, and. We, it was just bonding, right? We all oh, yeah. bonded with this little for guy. Sure, and sure. I mean, how could you not bond with that <laughs> little face? And, uh, you know, sometimes I, you guys are going to think I'm really crazy. Sometimes when I tell this story, he gets very, very calm. And uh, anyway, it's kind of crazy. But, <laughs> but then we're driving home yeah. now. And we're... we're throwing names around in the car. We knew what we wanted to call him. We th thought... And, but we were still tossing around some names, but I mean, Hurricane just seemed to stick. Well, that's your, well, that's your sports name, so. Yeah, it was, that was my kind of nickname uh, when I was in high school. And as a ploy to get a dog, <laughs> <laughs> my daughter was kind of, we should get a little Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that our intention no, going there no, for sure. No. So anyway, we, we called him Hurricane and uh, the name just really, really stuck. And, uh -huh. and we're so happy to, get to have him here. And do you remember the first day we took him home, what he did? Yes, I, uh, I was uh, in the kitchen. We had uh, a back split home and I was in, down in the kitchen and I was uh, squatting or sitting on the floor with my legs crossed and he was on my lap. 
And all of a sudden, he must have heard something outside. And this is day one, remember. Just brought him home. And he jumps off my lap and he goes running up the stairs, barking. <laughs> and we have this, uh, we had this bay window and it was only about this far off the floor. So he could just jump up on the ledge and he's looking all around. I went, wow, that's day one. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he, he was probably saying to himself again, here I go with this crazy stuff about what the dog's thinking. But, well, these guys seem to like me, so I better show them what a tough dog I am even though I'm only four pounds but uh, he certainly proved himself and again this scruffy little bed we bought the mm -hmm. bed for him as well because that's his security blanket we call it his original bed and he still sleeps in it I know he's in it right now but he loves it. yeah he still sleeps in it to this day yeah absolutely and uh, so that night too what did I do <laughs> I put him in a cage oh yeah. you know me and my I've had dogs before I had two Bichons they lived to be over 50 15. I mean, they were my dogs, and I know about crate training. Yeah. And so what did I do? I put him back in a cage, and what did he do? Well, it was in our bedroom still, mm -hmm. but he was in the cage, and he just whined and cried and hey I'm weak I can't take that <laughs> no. and so he didn't last in the cage very long and we didn't put him in a cage after yeah. that and and he got really like in one day he was already trained I mean this dog mind you he goes out for walks like mm -hmm. three or four times a day um, since we work at home yeah. but but you know uh, we want to show you now a little montage of the dog um, the first one we're going to show you is the dog when we brought him home and he was just yeah. a baby day one <laughs> day, and there he is and is you know just he's so cute right now and then for the second one what we want to show we talked about guard dogs and mm -hmm. uh you know how he thought he was a guard dog on day one well take a look at this clip because this is our dog as he is now you're not going to believe this a little slow-mo editing <laughs> too here we go And I, I love, I just gotta say, I love that clip. <laughs> it's just the, the look on his face when he's up there, like. You know, and it's usually the mailman, right, Bill? Oh, always. Yeah. Watch it. Don't say that word. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, we want to show a few more enjoyable montages about the dog. And then we want to talk a little bit more about maybe should you get a dog and also upcoming videos. So let's just see a few more clips of Little Hurricane. So of course, looking at a cute little dog, the question is, should you get a dog? Yeah. And I think that's a huge question. Like we know that our son, he's got a great place to live, a great mm -hmm. backyard. But the one thing about having a dog, and, and like I said, Hurricane's about nine now, is when we go on trips, he can't yeah. go to a doggy daycare. He pines, mm -hmm. he won't eat. And we've only done that like for a day or two. And the person said, you know, this dog doesn't make it really that well in, yeah. in, a, in a doggy daycare care um, so our daughter takes them usually yeah. if we want to go on a trip we have to make sure she's available for a week a lot of planning you know there's a, a lot of care a lot of walking mm -hmm. dogs like to walk um, just make sure especially if you're feeling isolated or lonely mm -hmm. or something like that you don't just think well a, do a dog's just gonna fix things because it's a two-way street and uh, and they do cost money too yeah. you're gonna do heartworm pills oh. and and <laughs> rabies shots yeah. and distemper and all that sort of yeah. thing but if you're a dog person and uh, it doesn't matter how old you are mm -hmm. you know like if you've got some life left in you especially <laughs> dog lives uh, then I would say to, to get that but we actually did a video mm -hmm. on should you get a dog and a whole bunch of questions to think about yeah. so um, yeah, check it out. I'm gonna put that at the end screen of this video mm -hmm. and come 
coming up on this channel, we've got lots of things about uh, warmer weather fun and food and all kinds of different things and hanging out in your backyard. So that is coming up. And over on the beauty and fashion channel, I've got a lot more fashion. I'm really digging yeah. into my own personal wardrobe and showing different things like the accessories that I love and some fun fashion that I love. And of course, I'm still reviewing makeup and mm -hmm. there's lots of self-care there as well. So, uh, you know, love is love. And a lot mm -hmm. of times these little guys, they, they give us such unconditional love and, um, uh, I mean, I am just, whether you're a cat person, some people are cat people too, but you know what, if you're that kind of person, um, there's a lot of rescues out there mm -hmm. that are just waiting. Je I'm sorry to interrupt you, Heather. I was just going to say, nowadays, there's two ways of getting it, and it's through rescue and it's through breeders. Yeah. Right. And if I were, I consider him a rescue. I really do. Yeah. Because of what he was, he was four months when we got him. So yeah. you can imagine how long this poor little guy, this <laughs> poor little guy was in a cage for. And, uh, you know, if you can get a rescue, I just say, let's, let's do that because mm -hmm. um, they're just, well, they're just so special. And until next time, you know, I don't know, like just enjoy every little day, uh, maybe save a little pet and keep it awesome. Keep it awesome.